Tindari Italian Tindari Sicilian Lu Tinaru El Tina Ancient Tindarus Ancient Greek Tindarus Strab or Tindarian Tindarian PTOL is a small town frazione suburb or municipal component in the commune of Patti and a Latin Catholic titular see The monumental ruins of ancient Tindarus are a main attraction for visitors and excavations are continuing to reveal more parts of the city Tindari has a famous sanctuary and is also famous for the poem Vento a Tindari, written by Salvatore Quasimodo. History Ancient Tindarus was strategically situated on its prominent hill overlooking the wide bay of the Tyrrhenian Sea bounded by the Punta di Milazzo on the east, and the Capo Calava on the west. It was one of the latest of all the cities in Sicily that could claim a purely Greek origin, having been founded by the elder Dionysus in 396 or 395 BC. The original settlers were the remains of the Mycenaean exiles, who had been driven from Napactus, Zacynthus, and the Peloponnese by the Spartans after the close of the Peloponnesian War. These had at first been established by Dionysus at Messana, when he repeopled that city, but the Spartans having taken umbrage at this, he transferred them to the site of Tindarus, which had previously been included in the territory of Abyssinum. The colonists themselves gave to their new city the name of Tindarus, from their native divinities, the Tindaridae, or Dioscuri, and readily admitting fresh citizens from other quarters, soon raised their whole population to the number of 5,000 citizens. The new city thus rose at once to be a place of considerable importance. It is next mentioned in 344 BC, when it was one of the first cities that declared in favour of Timoleon after his landing in Sicily. At a later period we find it mentioned as espousing the cause of Hieron, and supporting him during his war against the Mamertines 269 BC. On that occasion he rested his position upon Tindarus on the left, and on Tauromenium modern Tormina on the right. Indeed, the strong position of Tindarus made it an important strategic post on the Tyrrhenian Sea, as Tauromenium was on the Sicilian Sea, and hence we find it frequently mentioned in accounts of subsequent wars. In the First Punic War it was at first dependent upon Carthage, and though the citizens, alarmed at the progress of the Roman armies, were at one time on the point of turning to Rome, they were restrained by the Carthaginians, who carried off all the chief citizens as hostages. In 257 BC, the Battle of Tindarus took place off the coast of Tindarus, between the city and the Lipuraean Islands, in which a Roman fleet under Gaius Atilius Regulus obtained some advantage over the Carthaginian fleet, but without any decisive result. The Roman fleet is described on that occasion as touching at the promontory of Tindarus, but the city had not yet fallen into their hands, and it was not until after the fall of Panormus modern Palermo in 254 BC that Tindarus expelled the Carthaginian garrison and joined the Roman alliance. We hear little of Tindarus under Roman government, but it appears to have been a flourishing and considerable city. Cicero calls it noblissima civitas and we learn from him that the inhabitants had displayed their zeal and fidelity towards the Romans upon many occasions. Among others they supplied naval forces for the armament of Scipio Africanus the Younger, a service for which he repaid them by restoring to them a statue of Mercury which had been carried off by the Carthaginians and which continued as an object of great veneration in the city, until it was stolen by the rapacious Vares. Tindarus was also one of seventeen cities selected by the Roman Senate, apparently as an honorary distinction, to contribute to certain offerings to the Temple of Venus at Eryx. In other respects it had no peculiar privileges, and was in the condition of an ordinary municipal town, with its own magistrates, local senate, etc., but was certainly in the time of Cicero one of the most considerable places in the island. It, however, suffered severely from the exactions of Vares and the inhabitants, to revenge themselves on their oppressor, publicly demolished his statue as soon as he had quit the island. Tindarus again bore a considerable part in the Sicilian revolt between Sextus Pompeius and Octavian. It was one of the points occupied and fortified by the former, when preparing for the defence of the Sicilian Straits, but was taken by Agrippa after his naval victory at Mylae, and became one of his chief posts, from which he carried on offensive warfare against Pompey. 
Subsequently, to this we hear nothing more of Tyndarus in history, but there is no doubt of its having continued to subsist throughout the period of the Roman Empire. Strabo speaks of it as one of the places on the north coast of Sicily which, in his time, still deserved the name of cities, and Pliny gives it the title of a colonia. It is probable that it received a colony under Augustus, as we find it bearing in an inscription the titles of Colonia Augusta Tindaritinorum. Pliny indeed mentions a great calamity which the city had sustained, when, he tells us, half of it was swallowed up by the sea, probably from an earthquake having caused the fall of part of the hill on which it stands, but we have no clue to the date of this event. The itineraries attest the existence of Tindarus, apparently still as a considerable place, in the 4th century. Ecclesiastical history Established in 498 as Diocese of Tindari Italian, Tindaris Latin, Tindaritan us Latin adjective. In the early 7th century Sicily had no metropolitan see, so although politically part of the Byzantine Empire, all its bishoprics were in the sway of the papal Western Patriarchate of Rome as exempt suffragan dioceses of Rome. During the conflict on iconoclasm, Byzantine Emperor Leo III the Isaurian transferred all Sicily to his capital's Patriarchate of Constantinople circa 732. .In the 8th or 9th century, the newly created Metropolitan Archdiocese of Syracuse was given all Sicilian bishoprics as suffragans, including Tindari, where no bishops were recorded since 649. Although the Notitia Episcopatum under Emperor Leo VI early 10th century still lists Tindari among the suffragans of Syracuse, that probably was just canonical theory, as in 836 Tindari was conquered for Islam by Arabs and nothing is heard from the diocese. Formally suppressed in 880 without direct successor, but lost some territory in 1082 to establish the short-lived Diocese of Troina suppressed in 1098 to establish the Diocese of Messina. When Sicilia was again conquered and Christianized by the Normans in the 11th century, the bishopric wasn't restored, its territory rather assigned to the new Diocese of Patti. Titular see The diocese was nominally restored in 1968 as Latin titular bishopric of Tindari Curiate Italian Tindaris Latin Tindaritan us Latin adjective Topic Remains By the 19th century, the site of Tindarus was wholly deserted, but the name was retained by a church, which crowned the most elevated point of the hill on which the city formerly stood, and was still called the Madonna di Tindaro. It is c. 180 metres above the sea level, and forms a conspicuous landmark to sailors. Considerable ruins of the ancient city, are also visible. It occupied the whole plateau or summit of the hill, and the remains of the ancient walls may be traced, at intervals, all round the brow of the cliffs, except in one part, facing the sea, where the cliff is now quite precipitous. It is not improbable that it is here that a part of the cliff fell in, in the manner recorded by Pliny two gates of the city are also still distinctly to be traced. The chief monuments, of which the ruins are still extant within the circuit of the walls, are the theatre, of which the remains are in imperfect condition, but sufficient to show that it was not of large size, and apparently of Roman construction, or at least, like that of Tauromenium, rebuilt in Roman times upon the Greek foundations. A propylium with two handsome stone arches previously called a gymnasium. Several other edifices of Roman times, but of wholly uncertain character, a mosaic pavement and some Roman tombs, numerous inscriptions, fragments of sculpture, and architectural decorations, as well as coins, vases etc. have also been discovered on the site. <laughs> Legend Local legend tells that the lagoon was created after a pilgrim who came to see the Madonna refused to pray to the Madonna because she was black. The woman accidentally dropped her baby into the ocean and the Madonna made the land rise to save the baby. 
The sands of Maranello have taken shape of the profile of the Madonna. Topic: <laughs> Cultural references. An episode of Inspector Montalbano was called Excursion to Tindari. It ends with four of the main characters overlooking the bay. Topic: See also List of Catholic dioceses in Italy